Paul Feinbaum calls out Colorado football and Coach Prom, Coach Deion Sanders. I think we have a video, if I'm not mistaken. Listen to this. Not for a second. Uh, anyone asking whether Deion Sanders and Colorado are close to the playoffs simply doesn't understand the reality of the road. They're, they're not going to the playoffs this year. And I'm not sure Deion Sanders is ever going to get them to the playoffs because I don't think he has the patience to stay at Colorado long enough. There, there's so many misconceptions out there. Deion Sanders is the best salesman I've ever seen. I, I, I personally love the guy and for what he stands for. But the program looking out has, has a ridiculously inflated view of itself. I heard Shador Sanders, who's a fabulous quarterback, say last week, we are everyone's Super Bowl. Shador, you are not. You are an easy win nowadays. Cap or fact? Let you start it off. Well, he said a lot. So some of the stuff he said was facts. Some of it to me was not even cap. It was it was more so like we don't know yet. You know what I mean? So like I, I'm gonna start here with the Super Bowl line. Well, let me stop you. You do know what we yeah, saw. I, 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 he said, "Go first. I, I mean, start going." And, I, go ahead. It's called, it's called dialogue, motherfucker. God damn. No, I, I didn't get. I ain't said nothing yet. But go ahead. But I'm saying he. You just said you did. He don't know. You do know from last year, though. That's all I was gonna say. You do. You do have a sample size. You just said you don't have a size. You, you just said this you don't. This team is totally different than last year's team. I get it, but he's just based on what they saw. He's saying what he saw with Shador. Go ahead now. I'm, I, I'll shut up. I get. I get it. Listen. I agree with Shador that they are everybody Super Bowl because it's not about the fact that they're so great and they're the they're the best team in the nation. Nah, I'm like, duh, we we get that. It's the fact of the hype that's around Colorado. We talk about let's use last year. Let's talk about last year. They had some of the highest rated TV games we've seen. College Game Day pulled up. Big Noon pulled up. Every media platform was talking about it. Whether it was ESPN, Fox, or our show as well. So there's hype around them. There's 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 this aura around them to where when teams want to play them, they're, they they want to kill them because of the hype. They want to destroy Dion. They want to destroy Shador, who's holding up the wrist, holding up the watch. They want to they want to prove that they're better than Travis Hunter, whether you're a DB guarding him as a receiver or your receiver going against him as, as a corner. So, yeah, they are everybody's Super Bowl in the sense that that game is circle. Best believe if I was in college right now playing and we had Colorado on the schedule, I'm like, oh, yeah, I can't wait to go there. Believe every kid that got them on the schedule, they like we about to kick they ass. We are kicking they ass. We now you think that every week, of course, but it's a little different with Dion and them because of just the attention that you feel like you'll have that game as well. You know what I'm saying? So it's not only that they, they, they want to kind of outshine Dion in Colorado, it's also like I'm probably gonna be on a national platform, national TV game. This will be my chance to truly shine and show who I am. So I actually agree with Shador on that on that front on that side. Do they have a lot to prove, JB? Of course, of course. This is a make it. This is a make it break it year right here. Like they can't go out there and win four or five games again, or it's gonna be ugly. We, I know, he gonna get destroyed on this show. Colorado gonna get destroyed on all other platforms. They're gonna be talking about you know removing Deion's and it's gonna be all. It's gonna be all hell gonna break loose. So the pressure is there. They cannot have another bad season. But all I'm saying is is that to me, Paul Feinbaum, who's a well respected long-time columnist, ESPN personality, TV personality. I, I, I know it. I'm, I'm joking with you guys. Long time. We, we get it. I respect him. But to me, he's being a walking hypocrite. He's blaming the media for hyping up Colorado when they don't deserve it, bringing them the national attention. But he's doing the exact same thing right now. They're literally back in the headlines today. We are talking about Colorado today because of Paul Feinbaum's comments on them so i i get it like a lot of a lot of what he said based upon last season is a fact there are there, there are true things about it but he's speaking as he's speaking with like a um certain passion behind the 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 hype that they're getting and he's literally helping that hype up whether it's directly or indirectly maybe he doesn't even know what he's doing but he's helping elevate the brand right now by bringing them up again so I guess I, I don't know. I, that's my first lap, JB. I'll let you go. I've been talking for a minute. 
I, listen, <clears throat> if I told you that I've talked to coaches and players <clears throat> that are treating Colorado as the Super Bowl for this reason, I'm about to tell you. You just tell me uh, cap or fact. What right. if they told? What if they? What if I told you they only want to play Colorado because they know that it's going to be a packed house and it's going to be everybody and their mama there. That's yeah. the only reason. And normally, if they were to go play a regular Big Twelve game, it would be half capacity, no cloud, no people there of any significance, no real, you know, hoorah around it. So what if that's really the Super Bowl? Not about beating them. They're not fearing Colorado whatsoever on the football field. They're just wanting to go be a part of the show. That's yeah. really – that's all I've heard from coaches and players, bro. To be honest, it ain't about, oh, shit, Colorado's the team to beat. <laughs> we know that. It ain't true. Yeah. That ain't – But I don't so think Shador I, said that. I agree with you. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. I, so I so I agree with Feinbaum in that regard. Now, on the other re side of the thing, on the flip side of it is, you just don't know anything from year to year in this particular landscape because we're, we're expecting Alabama to be mid. Yeah. Like you and I have kind of said, oh, we don't feel the same. Nick Saban left. And we might be downplaying DeBoer's capabilities. DeBoer oh. might be a fucking dude. Like he just got one of the biggest recruits in the country the other day. Four-star mm -hmm. kid receiver. Alabama got him. No one else thought they were going to get him. He got him. So, like, maybe DeBoer's that motherfucker, too. And we don't know that. And so, you don't know. We don't know. It is what it is. But I think it's 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 refreshing in this regard, but then I can see everyone's going to say it's hate on the other side. But it's refreshing to see a Paul Feinbaum, a name like that, actually go against the grain on a, a network like ESPN that's Disney ran and, and kind of soft to say something about Dion, which Dion's on game day all the time with Max B and them. He's always on ESPN platforms with Stephen A. It's interesting to see that. And then RG3 came out, of course, um, and said he disagrees with him. Um, I thought he had a good take. I, I know, like, we joke about RG3 or whatever or you do, but I thought he had a good take, actually, on this. I don't think I, I yeah. see nothing wrong with it. I don't know if Feinbaum addressed anything in his take, though, about filling stands and making money. I don't believe it was about that. We're talking well, about his credit, so because all Paul Fine, because I watched the whole clip. Like that's what I'm saying. When he said you guys are not anybody's Super Bowl, he said you guys are an easy win. Cool, but I don't. I don't think that's why Shador said that. So I think Paul Fine, by in my in my opinion, misread what Shador said and the reason behind it. I don't think Shador out here saying that like everybody's scared of us. I mean, if, if you can find that clip, cool, but. To me, that's not how I took it. I just took it the, the fact of, again, what you mentioned, I agree with you, JB, the the, the sold-out crowds, the college game day, the superstars on the the rock, Lil Wayne on the sideline, like the whole aura behind it. It's like, oh, I'm, I'm trying to show out this game. That's what I think it is, which I, I think we all agree is true. So that's all I'm saying, you know. And then, um, you know, he, you know, he gave his honest opinion. He said, I don't think. Dion will, I guess, get this team to the college football playoffs ever because he doesn't think he, he'll have the patience to be there long enough. That's just an opinion. Like, we, I mean, we, you know, we talked about that on the show before. I know you've mentioned it before because you're more so because, because of his health and not knowing if he'd be able to, you know, withstand the longevity of multiple college football seasons with, with his health. But everything we've heard from, from Dion is that he plans on being there. You know, I mean, we're seeing the, they're trying to push to get the, the top one of the top quarterbacks for next year to replace Shador and all this. They're trying to make move for next year. Like, from everything we see right now today, where, where we stand right now, is that he plans on being there. So, you know, listen, I, listen. we all know anytime we were talking Colorado and Dion, it's going to get all types of attention like this. You either love it, you either hate it. And it, it's almost like this whole <laughs> – political stuff man when it comes to Dion, it's like it's just two sides that will never fully agree so there's no point of even trying to convince the other side the football tape in the film will answer everybody's questions here in about what five to six weeks that'll answer everybody's questions here soon and we'll see if he's able to build a, a, a true program or not oh man i I don't know. I, you're right. I mean, it, it, the bottom line is we got to wait to see what the fuck it is for all these teams. Ohio State's supposedly the best roster in fucking history of football. I'm fighting that because <laughs> I, I don't see it at quarterback. 
Like, you don't got no quarterback. It's fucking, you can do what all you can talk about all that shit you want. So that's a t- that's a team to be determined. We're gonna sit here and determine them. What if they lose game three to fucking Penn State or some shit, and everyone's gonna be like, oh, like you just gotta wait, dog. It is what it is, and that's no different than Colorado and and uh, and Deion Sanders and Shador. So 